Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on reversal of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade. Introduction Prior to extubation, recovery of normal neuromuscular transmission can be facilitated by administering anticholine esterase drugs or novel reversal agents like Sugamadex. Regarding assessment of the degree of neuromuscular blockade, kindly refer to the respective video. Anticholine esterase neuromuscular blockade reversal agents should only be administered if there is evidence of return of neuromuscular transmission by TOF count of more than 2, DBS twitch of more than 1, and post tetanic count of more than 15. Signs of inadequate neuromuscular blockade reversal includes jerky uncoordinated muscle movements, dyspnea and anxious look if the patient is awake. If residual block is confirmed by peripheral nerve stimulation, a further dose of reversal agent may be administered. A small dose of sedative such as midazolam 1mg can be given for anxiolysis while awaiting the full return of neuromuscular function provided that the patient has adequate respiratory function and normal vital signs. Anesthesia, intubation and mechanical ventilation should be performed if the neuromuscular blockade persists or if the patient is very distressed and the cause of residual block be sought. Reversal drugs. There are conventional neuromuscular blockade reversal agents and Sugamadex. Conventional reversal agents work by blocking acetylcholine esterase, thereby promoting the accumulation of acetylcholine. Accumulation of acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction results in more acetylcholine receptors stimulated and recovery is hastened. However, accumulation of acetylcholine at other sites may result in muscarinic effects, nicotinic effects, and CNS effects. Muscarinic effects include increase in exocrine gland activity resulting in increased lacrimation, salivation, rhinorrhea, bronchorrhea, hyperamylacemia, and sweating. Cardiac effects include bradycardia and hypotension and arrhythmias such as AV block, ventricular dysrhythmias, and idioventricular rhythm. Increased smooth muscle activity results in bronchoconstriction, bladder stimulation, and urination sphincter relaxation, meiosis and blurred vision, increased GI motility, resulting in vomiting, abdominal cramps and diarrhea. Nicotinic effects may occur resulting in muscle fasciculation, muscle weakness and cramping. This may not be apparent if the patient is already experiencing non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade. CNS effect is apparent in overdose or poisoning and occurs if the anticholine esterase crosses the blood-brain barrier and results in agitation, confusions, tremors, ataxia, seizures, and loss of consciousness. Simultaneous administration of an anticholinergic agent such as atropine or glycopyrrolate reduces unwanted cholinergic effects. Examples of conventional reversal agents include neostigmine and adrophonium. Sugamadex is a novel reversal drug. It rapidly immobilizes and inactivates certain aminosteroid non-depolarizing muscle relaxants such as rocuronium and vacuronium. The dose of 4 mg per kg is to reverse deep rocuronium blockade where there is no response to TOF or DBS. The dose of 16 mg per kg is used to achieve immediate neuromuscular blockade reversal after an intubating bolus of rocuronium which cannot be achieved by anticholine esterases. The use of Sugamadex is currently limited by its expense. Neostigmine. It is a synthetic compound first synthesized in 1931. It is a carbamic acid ester, quaternary ammonium compound. Thus, it does not cross the blood brain barrier and is poorly absorbed from the GIT as it is more polar. Neostigmine methyl sulfate is administered parenterally and neostigmine bromide is administered orally. It is stored in brown valves as it disintegrates when exposed to light. Mechanism of Action Neostigmine inhibits acetylcholine esterase by combining reversibly with it by formation of an ester linkage. Sustained inhibition of acetylcholine esterase occurs due to the prolonged process of hydrolysis of neostigmine after it binds to the N-ionic site of acetylcholine esterase 
and then to an esteritic subside. Neostigmine also increases acetylcholine release via its presynaptic actions. There is increase in acetylcholine concentrations from acetylcholine esterase inhibition and this results in activation of nicotinic and muscarinic receptors. Neostigmine also has a direct stimulatory effect on skeletal muscle acetylcholine receptors. This can cause depolarizing neuromuscular blockade in overdose. Overdosage can also cause cholinergic crisis. Kindly refer to the video on cholinergic agonists for further details. Effects of neostigmine on autonomic ganglia. The effect is small. There is stimulation at low doses and depression at high doses. There are few CNS effects as neostigmine does not cross the blood-brain barrier well. Onset of action is 1 minute. Time to peak effect is 10 minutes. Duration of action, for IV it is 20 to 30 minutes. For oral it is up to 4 hours. Elimination half-life is 50 to 90 minutes. Neostigmine is excreted largely unchanged through the kidneys. Clinical uses of neostigmine. Reversal of neuromuscular blockade by non-depolarizing muscle relaxants. Effect on skeletal muscle is greater than that of physiostigmine and it can stimulate contractility before it paralyzes. Other uses of neostigmine. Neostigmine is also used to stimulate the bladder and GI tract, such as to treat post-operative ileus and urinary retention. Neostigmine has been used to manage symptoms of myasthenia gravis. However, oral neostigmine is poorly absorbed from the GI tract. Thus, it is unsuitable to be used to treat myasthenia gravis. Neostigmine has been used as an adjunct to spinal anesthesia. Intratical neostigmine confers analgesic effects via stimulation of muscarinic receptors in the Rex laminae 2 and 3 of the spinal cord. Dose-dependent nausea occurs. Dosage. For reversal of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade, the dose is IV 0.04 to 0.08 mg per kg. To reduce unwanted muscarinic and nicotinic adverse effects, Administer with either IV atropine 0.02 to 0.04 mg per kg or IV glycopyronium 10 to 20 micrograms per kg. Titrate to the degree of residual neuromuscular block for the dosage of neostigmine. The dose for myasthenia gravis is 15 to 30 mg orally or 1 to 2.5 mg subcute or IM 2 to 4 hourly. Dosage for other uses as for myasthenia gravis. Adverse effects of neostigmine includes muscarinic and nicotinic effects. Kindly refer to the previous section for further details. Contraindications of neostigmine Intestinal or urinary bladder obstruction, hypersensitivity, peritonitis, doubtful bowel viability, bronchospasm. Neostigmine should not be administered if there are zero twitches observed on a peripheral nerve stimulator after administration of a non depolarizing neuromuscular blocker or after saxamethonium administration. Use with caution in patients with coronary artery disease, cardiac arrhythmias, bradycardia, recent acute coronary syndrome, recently sealed off colonic perforation, patients with recent intestinal anastomosis, epilepsy, vagotonia, hyperthyroidism, peptic ulcer, Parkinsonism, and during cyclopropane or halothane anesthesia. Androphonium. It is a quaternary amine, a prototype short-acting acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. It binds reversibly via ionic bonding to the active center of acetylcholine esterase, preventing hydrolysis of acetylcholine. The onset of action is 1 minute. It has a short duration of action of 10 to 20 minutes due to rapid renal elimination. Actions are limited to the periphery. Clinical uses and doses. Prior to administration of adrophonium, ECG should always be monitored and atropine must always be available. Adrophonium can be used for reversal of neuromuscular blockade caused by non-depolarizing muscle relaxants. Effectiveness of adrophonium for this indication is less predictable compared with neostigmine. In equipotent doses with neostigmine, adrophonium has less muscarinic effects. The degree of neuromuscular block may increase after an initial period of recovery due to its short duration of action. The dose is 0.5 to 0.7 mg per kg with IV atropine 0.02 to 0.04 mg per kg. For diagnosis of myasthenia gravis, the dose of adrophonium is IV 2 mg followed by 8 mg if no adverse effects occur. 
antibodies to the nicotinic receptors at the neuromuscular junction causes their degradation, there are fewer acetylcholine receptors available for interaction with acetylcholine. IV adrophonium leads to a rapid increase in muscle strength in myasthenia gravis. This test, however, has low sensitivity and specificity, and excess adrophonium may initiate a cholinergic crisis. Adrophonium has been used to predict patient response to longer-acting anticholine esterases. It has been used to differentiate cholinergic and myasthenic crisis. The dose is IV 2 mg one hour after the last dose of the cholinergic drug. There is increased muscle strength in myasthenic crisis and decreased muscle strength in cholinergic crisis. The dose of adrophonium for treatment of supraventricular tachycardia is IV 5 to 20 mg. The dose for diagnosis of dual block is IV 10 mg adrophonium. There is increased muscle power in dual block. Sugamadex. There are several disadvantages of anticholine esterases. Recovery of neuromuscular blockade must be established before they are given, and muscarinic effects are undesirable, especially if the patient has a history of nausea or vomiting or has bronchospasm and arrhythmias. Structure of sugamadex. It is a modified gamma cyclodextrin. The su refers to the sugar moiety and gamadex refers to the gamma cyclodextrin moiety. There are eight oligosaccharide side chains at the cyclodextrin ring. Mechanism of action. These eight oligosaccharides are arranged in a cylindrical structure to encapsulate all four steroidal rings of rocuronium completely. The ring consists of cyclic dextrose units linked by one to four glycosyl bonds. This allows a better accommodation of the amino steroid molecule within this toroidal structure. Toroidal structure refers to a mathematical term which describes a surface generated by a closed curve rotating about but not intersecting an axis in its own plane. Hydroxyl groups on the outer surface is negatively charged and hydrophilic. On the inner surface, it is lipophilic. The hydrophilic external tails on the toroid attracts the quaternary nitrogen group of the aminosteroid muscle relaxant and draws it into the lipophilic core of sugamadex. The encapsulation of rocuronium or vacuronium by sugamadex is irreversible and it is done in a ratio of 1 to 1. It forms a stable structure that is water-soluble, favoring removal from the neuromuscular junction to the plasma. It is drug-specific. Sugamadex is licensed for reversal of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade caused by rocuronium or vacuronium and will not reverse residual block produced by benzyl lysoquinoliniums. There is a limited effect in reversing neuromuscular blockade by pancuronium. Sugamadex acts three times as rapid as neostigmine in reversing neuromuscular block produced by rocuronium. Recovery of TOFR to 0.9 occurs within 2 to 3 minutes. Recovery is slightly slower with vacuronium than rocuronium. In a study conducted by Lemon H.J. et al., the geometric mean time to recovery of the TOFR to 0.9 was 15-fold faster with Sugamadex, 4.5 minutes, compared with neostigmine, 66 minutes. In reversing neuromuscular block produced by vacuronium, the chelated complex has no muscarinic effect, thus the use of anticholinergic agents is unnecessary. The specific action of sugamadex reverses the effect of rocuronium and vacuronium from any depth of neuromuscular block, enabling rocuronium to replace saxamentonium in a variety of clinical scenarios as it can be reversed within minutes of administration. Sugamadex has been used in the management of anaphylaxis to rocuronium, although this is not recommended on the drugs data sheet. In fact, there are few reports of anaphylaxis to sugamadex. Metabolism and excretion. Sugamadex is excreted unchanged by the kidneys. The elimination half-life is 2.2 hours. Dosage. For TOF count of more than 2, the dose is 2 mg per kg. TOF count of 0 or PTC 1 to 2, the dose is 4 to 8 mg per kg. For recurrence of neuromuscular blockade, additional dose of 4 mg per kg. In the obese patient, the dosage is based on actual body weight. 
To reverse neuromuscular blockade immediately after an intubating dose of rocuronium, such as in the case of cannot intubate and cannot ventilate, the dose is 16 mg per kg. If administered 3 minutes after a bolus dose of 1.2 mg per kg rocuronium, Sugamadex produces recovery of TOFR to 0.9 after 1.5 minutes. Side effects of Sugamadex are rare, cardiac arrhythmias are possible, prolonged QT interval, bronchospasm, taste disturbances and anaphylaxis has been reported. Interactions with other drugs Sugamadex may encapsulate exogenous progesterones such as those used in oral contraceptive preparations. Drugs that can displace rocuronium from Sugamadex includes fusidic acid, flucoxacillin, and toramifin. Other uses of cyclodextrins Cyclodextrins are used in air fresheners such as Febreze to encapsulate molecules. Price As of 2019, Sugamadex costs RM303 per vial, where the vial is 100 mg per mil, 2 mil per vial. Due to high cost, Sugamadex use is largely confined to emergency settings. These are my references. Thank you.